This is first and goal from the five. Hillis the long setback. Throws. It's complete inside the five. Evan Moore. But forced out of bounds and the clock's still running. They have no timeouts. Yeah, you gotta, these guys have to understand the situation. you got a bunch of players standing around. Pat Shermer's going to get the call and they've got to get him lined up. Down to 13 seconds. Second and goal. Hillis. Bernard Pollard on the tackle. And Cleveland is going to run out of time. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's on the play caller. I mean, how can you, if you run it there and you don't get it, the half is over. You've got to throw it in that situation. Or in terms of Cleveland, not very good time management to close that first half. It's been really incredible what happened there at the end of the first half. And I put a lot of it on the head coach. Pat Shermer, you've got to do a better job in that situation. The players on the field have to understand what's at stake. Really poor clock match. we got a first down here. They don't get out of bounds with the throw to Evan Moore. And now watch the clock continue to tick down. And there's some uncertainty as you watch the field. Now, Pat Shermer is going to get the play called on second down. But now you're inside 20 seconds. It's taken them a while to get lined up. They run an off-tackle play to Peyton Hillis. And there simply is not enough time here at the end to get the offensive line, who's standing around, by the way, not even understanding the situation of the game. There's just not enough time to kill the clock. Terrible clock management there at the end, and Pat Shermer has to be sick to his stomach.